Yeah, I, I do not see us playing the full nine game schedule like we're accustomed to. Um, I do think there there will be a reduction in the um, I think there'll be a reduction in the number of games you play. Um, I think um, I think you're going to move forward. You know, you you may shorten a play week or two. You know, it's five to win the state championship. Maybe you play four to get there. Um, I do think the ultimate goal is to crown a champion. Um, you know, you are going to lose some kids. Uh, you know, to uh, very sports. I, I you know. I totally understand it and I support the kids. Uh, you know, if you say, hey coach, you know what, I, I'm a baseball player in the spring or I'm a track and field athlete. Although it's gonna be two tiers of spring sports now that football and uh, possibly boys soccer and, and volleyball is probably gonna get moved to the spring as well. You know, now you're gonna have an issue with, uh, you know, space, you know, availability of, of, uh, of the turf and grass fields and, and those sorts of things. Uh, because those those teams are allowed to do some preseason uh, conditioning workouts, so we understand that, and we understand some kids are going to opt out of football, and um, you know you, you just want to make sure that you support the kids any way possible, and um, not make it just about football. You know, if it was the fall, different circumstances, but now we're in the spring, so uh, you know as coaches we have to make sure that we're open minded and compassionate, and make sure we support the kids whatever decisions they make and. You know, um, as far as the kids going to college, the early, the mid-year early enrollee kids, you know, I've already uh, publicly expressed my feelings that I think any kid that signs a, um, that, that signs their scholarship in December, um, I think we're on track to have three or four kids to do that. My suggestion for those kids is to opt out of the senior year, senior season on the gridiron and start your collegiate career. Uh, you know, that's the that's the advice that I would give them. That's the advice that I would want someone to give me. I would I would want someone to give my own son that advice. So we just have to make sure that we are, um, you know, we, we're open-minded and compassionate for our kids.